Hi everyone, welcome to the RP Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on GOC that is nothing but a general organic chemistry series. Okay, so this is the lecture number seven. Today we are going to deal with uh, the new term which is nothing but a hyperconjugation. Okay, so this is the one of the effect of uh, electronic displacement in covalent band. Electronic displacement in covalent band. So this is the third effect. Now we are already discussed, we had already discussed in the like inductive effect and mesomeric effect, very complete, very complete concept, okay. Now here today we are deal with a hyperconjugation. So hyperconjugation which was introduced by the two scientists, uh, Baker and Nathan, Baker and Nathan. That's why it is also called as Baker-Nathan effect, Baker and Nathan effect. So both are the same words, okay, Baker-Nathan effect or hyperconjugation, both are the similar words, okay. So this this is the like a kind of a hyperconjugation, simply it is a kind of a, a special kind of a resonance effect, a special kind of a resonance effect. So here it is observed, so now in case of a, like a resonance, so this is the compound, so this compound will show only like a this type of conjugation, this type of conjugation, this is nothing but shifting of electrons, is nothing but a, like a resonance. Now here it is the negative and a positive. Okay, this is the simple conjugation. But here, hyper conjugation, it was a, like C double bond C, here it is the hydrogen, here it is the hydrogen, the bond into two electrons shifted like this. Now here it appears like this, H plus. That means uh, here the sigma bonding electrons are transferred sigma bonding electrons are transferred so sigma bonding electrons are transferred that's why it is a special kind of uh, resonance a special kind of uh, resonance now here it needs one term that is alpha hydrogen okay now the whole, to whole total concept the whole concept of uh, hyperconjugation which is dependent on the alpha hydrogen okay now let's move on to the topic uh, so that is the hyperconjugation so before going to the topic now we have discussed the hyper uh, alpha hydrogen alpha hydrogen identification okay now here it is the alpha hydrogen simply this is the carbonyl compound so carbonyl compound either aldehyde or ketone so this is the ketone derivative now here it having the like a, a side chain so this is the like a ch3 hydrogen 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 now here it is the ch2 so this is the like a ch2 ch2 ch3 like that that much of the same chain is there now this is the carbonyl compound so the carbonyl compound adjacent carbon is called as alpha Carbonyl compound adjacent carbon is called as alpha. So alpha adjacent carbon is called as beta. Beta adjacent carbon is called as gamma. Okay. So the gamma is uh, gamma adjacent is uh, delta. Those type of uh, uh, now uh, numbering is observed. Okay. This is alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and so on. So either left side or right side carbonyl compound adjacent position is called as alpha. Okay. So this is the alpha. So alpha carbon having the like uh, alpha carbon having at least one CH sigma bond. So alpha CH sigma bond. This is simply it is called as alpha CH sigma bond. Now in left side here two alpha sigma bonds are there. Two alpha hydrogens are there. Simply it is the two alpha hydrogens. Now here three alpha hydrogens are there. So this is the method of calculation of alpha hydrogen. Now it is the like alkene. Okay. Now here it is the double bond. Here it is the CH3. How many alpha hydrogens are there? So here it is the CH2. Okay, carbonyl compound, alkene, double bond adjacent carbon, that is simply it is called as alpha. So double bond adjacent carbon is called as alpha. So those alpha having the three hydrogens. Now here, three alpha hydrogens are there. Okay, now let us assume here it is the like a benzene. So how many alpha hydrogens are there? Benzene adjacent position, three alpha hydrogens. Okay, now here it is the system. So this is the like a system that having the like a CH, CH3, CH3. How many alpha hydrogens are there? Here seven hydrogens are there. Seven are alpha? No. So double bond adjacent here it is the like, it is the double bond, double bond adjacent carbon that having how many like a uh, hydrogens? Those are only called as alpha hydrogen. Now here only one alpha hydrogen. Only one alpha hydrogen. This is the simple calculation of uh, alpha hydrogen. Simple calculation of alpha hydrogen. Now let's move on to the topic. Okay, now here, now let's move on to the topic. Now here, it is a special kind of resonance that is nothing but a delocalization, simply delocalization of uh, sigma electrons, like a simply delocalization of electrons through overlapping of, overlapping of sigma bond and vacant orbitals sigma bond and vacant orbitals or sigma bond and pi orbitals 
So this is simply it is called as a hyperconjugation. Simply it is called as hyperconjugation. So simply it is the hyperconjugation. So hyperconjugation having the two types of uh, uh, like a. Uh, two types of different uh, overlappings that is the delocalization of overlapping so one is the sigma bond and vacant orbitals okay now another one is the sigma bond and pi bond sigma bond and pi bond okay so these two two types of uh, uh, different kind of hyperconjugations are observed okay sigma bond and vacant orbital so simply it is the sigma bond that is the alpha hydrogen so adjacent atom having the vacant now we know the reactive intermediates so vacant orbital of reactive intermediates only two are there so here it is the carbocation carbon carbon free radical and carbonyl these are the three are uh, three uh, like uh, intermediates let's assume here it is the carbocation it is the vacant orbital here it is the carbon free radical it having the only one electron but here it is the carbonyl it having the pair of electron so it follows the octet rule that's why it, it can also be like a hyperconjugation these two are only shown the like a hyperconjugation okay now here one is the carbocation so here it is the carbocation and another one is the carbon free radical these show these two show me like this type of uh, sigma bond and vacant orbital effect okay the, the examples are carbocation are you clear like a carbon free radical carbocation and carbon free radical these two examples comes under sigma bond and vacant orbital hyperconjugation model now here sigma bond and pi bond so now here it is the sigma bond so the adjacent pi bond simply it is called as alkenes the best examples are alkenes best examples are alkenes now let us assume so here it is the carbocation so here carbocation which is a uh, like a hyper conjugated structure so like it appears like this carbon carbon now here it creates the carbon uh, like a double bond why because here the bond of the two electrons will shift it towards the deficient atom and it creates the neutral neutrality now here these hydrogen atom which lost their bonded to electron that's why it is appears a cat yeah. it appears as a h plus okay so this is the like hyper conjugation of hydro like uh, carbocations now similarly like here one electron is there that is the unpaired electron here it is the ch bond that is the alpha ch bond now bonded to electrons that means uh, here it is the like a uh, bonding to electron so those bonding to electron will shifted like this now here carbon hydrogen atom having the like this type of hydrogen okay so this type of hyper conjugation is observed now in case of uh, alkenes the bonded two electrons will shifted like this now here it creates the c c c minus over there c double bond c here it is the hydrogen which lost their electrons that's why it creates the h plus okay so these three types of uh, hyper conjugations was observed that means hyper conjugation observed in these three type of systems one is the carbocation carbon free radical and uh, ca like alkenes okay now let us assume how it is happen okay so now i'll explain the a new thing that is a uh, orbital view okay now let us assume let us see the like i saw the orbital view of uh, these three type of compounds okay now let's move on to the orbital view okay now so let's move on to the orbital view so this is the orbital view of hyperconjugation so the first thing is carbocation first thing is carbocation so this is the carbon like a sorry it is the carbocation so it having the like a alpha hydrogens here three types of alpha hydrogens are observed three types of alpha hydrogens are observed so these structure can be like appears like this so this is the carbon carbon so carbocation means it is vacant orbital so here it is the like a sigma bonding so this is the carbon atom carbon orbitals now here are two hydrogens one of the carbon orbital now this is the hydrogen atom hydrogen is one as orbital s orbitals are spherical okay now here it is the hydrogen so these these are uh, like a common point uh, which having the two electrons simply it is the uh, bonding bonding electrons okay now here it it is the vacant orbital that's why bonded to two electrons will shift it like this okay now these bonded two electrons will shifted to like uh, shifted to the carbon carbon single bond now it creates the like this type of uh, this type of molecule so that means carbon carbon double bond why because here it is the deficient atom so it obstruct the like two electrons and it it, it neutralized it and it neutralized it becomes a neutral molecule neutral that means a tetravalency molecule okay now here it having the like a two valencies so whether it is hydrogen or uh, hydrogen or alkyl groups it doesn't matter so now here it is the uh, like a h it lost the electrons that's why it appears as a h plus 
okay so here it is the hydrogen here it is the hydrogen one thing so the terminology is different the hyper conjugation that means it is a like a hyper activity in conjugation okay like, a, like a, a, let us assume a classroom is there like a, a 30 or 40 members of students are there so among the 30 or 40 so some of the guys they are they are showing the, the hyper activity in classroom like in point of studying not the other activities okay so some of the students they are showing the like hyper activity towards the class okay but now here the bonding atom so it should how much of hyper activity now let's let's uh, let's observe those uh, hyper activity in the hyper conjugation molecule okay now here uh, like h plus here it is the carbocation here it is the carbocation so here there is no bond still it keeps the their original position only it cannot move towards the other position it cannot move towards the other position even though it does not having the bond but still it stands over there it still it stands their original position so here there is no bond but it it, uh, it observes like a resonance that's why it is also called as no bond resonance no bond resonance simply it is also named as like no bond resonance as well as a hyper conjugation as well as a, uh, like a baker northern effect baker northern effect now these h plus will show the one canonical structure now the second h plus like similarly it shown the another canonical structure here hydrogen h plus here it is the hydrogen now the third which is also shown the like a uh, another type of uh, h plus another type of H plus. Okay. Now many of the students they are confused with uh, the valency of carbon. That's why I'll write the, these two hydrogen atoms. Okay. CH2, CH2, CH2. So this is the orbital view of carbocation. Now let us assume the, like orbital view of carbon free radical. Carbon free radical. Now here it is the carbon carbon. So here it is the radical CH2. Now here it is the bond. That means here two electrons are there. So here it is the hydrogen. Here it is the hydrogen hydrogen. Okay. Now one of the electron one of the electron will shift it towards the carbon atom then it, it becomes a like double bond that means here it is the it creates the new double bond okay so this is the orbital orientation now here it it gives the like a three types of structures one is the double bond ch2 now here it is the hydrogen radical hydrogen hydrogen okay now again it gives the another type of a, like a structure hydrogen here it is the hydrogen radical hydrogen okay ch2 now the third type of structure is also there so that is the c c h over there h over there hydrogen okay now here these type of three structures are observed okay now finally the orbital view of uh, like uh, alkene third one is the orbital view of alkene okay now here it is the alkene ch3 ch double bond ch2 so this is the alkene that is nothing but a propane okay now the orbital diagram of alkene like this so here it is the cc double bond so here it is the p orbital of carbon carbon so these two are overlapped together that's why it forms the pi bond okay now here it is the carbon so it having the like a ch single bond hydrogen that is the two electrons here hydrogen here hydrogen so this is the orbital view of the propane okay now here this is the double bond here it already present the double bond now the bonded two electron now here carbon hydrogen sigma bond is present the bonded sigma bonded two electron will shift it towards the carbon atom now here these carbon carbon single bond becomes rotated these carbon carbon single bond becomes rotated now the bonded two electrons will shift it to the like a uh, right side carbon atom this carbon atom having the much more valency that means a uh, counter of valency it shifted the pi bonded electrons towards the right side carbon atom towards the adjacent carbon atom so then it appears like this okay carbon carbon so now here it creates the like c c single bond becomes c double bond c here the rotation is also observed that's why carbon atom will uh, will down to the like same plane now here it is the carbon ch2 so here it is the bonded two electrons shifted over there that means here it is the negative charge bonded two electrons will show the like a negative charge ch2 minus here it is the hydrogen hydrogen now here hydrogen lost the electrons hydrogen lost the electrons so generally like a carbon ion is there carbon ion will abstract the proton and it creates the neutral form but still here it it appears like this it appears like a without bond it it uh, stands over there that's why it is also called as a no bond resonance no bond resonance now so this is the like one of the structure of hyper conjugation now in similarly like a previous case it appears a several type of hyper conjugation structure ch2 minus here it is the hydrogen like here h plus hydrogen now third one is c ch2 minus hydrogen hydrogen here it is the H plus. So these three structures are there. Okay. Generally, 
each each compound having the like a th three hydrogen, the three alpha hydrogen containing compound will show the three canonical hyper conjugated canonical structures are there. So these three plus one structure is there. So simply, so the number of hyper conjugated structures, number of hyper conjugated structures is nothing but a number of alpha hydrogens plus one number of alpha hydrogens plus one so this is the simple thing okay now let's move on to the applications of this hyper conjugation Okay, now let's move on to the applications of hyperconjugation. So this is the applications. The first one, the stability of intermediate. The first intermediate is stability of a carbocation. Stability of carbocation. Okay, now let us assume the, uh, like a series of example. So simply, so the more more hyperconjugated structures are there, more stable. That is the major thing. So it is common for all intermediate. More hyperconjugated structures, then it becomes more stable. Then it is more stable. More stable. More hyperconjugated structures are more stable. Okay. Now let's move on to the like a simple example. See so CH3, like a CH3, CH3. So this is the cation. So the carbon which having the which connected through the three atoms, so that is the tertiary carbon. Okay, this is the carbocation intermediate. That's why it is nothing but a tertiary carbocation. Like in similarly, CH3, CH3, H. That is the secondary carbocation. So CH3. Sorry. Okay. Now CH3, like a hydrogen, hydrogen, C plus. So this is simply it is nothing but a primary carbocation hydrogen 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 positive so this is the methyl cation this is the methyl cation now let us calculate how many number of alpha hydrogens are there now carbocation adjacent position is nothing but alpha adjacent position is alpha adjacent position is alpha so those alpha ch sigma bonds can donate their pair of electrons towards the deficient atom it's shown the like a hyper conjugation so that's why here how many how many uh, half hydrogens are there three plus three plus three how much nine so nine alpha hydrogens are there then how many possible types of hyper conjugated structures are absorbed nine plus one ten okay now here how many alpha hydrogens are there Okay, so here 3, here 3, here 1, 7 alpha hydrogens, whether it is correct, wrong, absolutely it is wrong. So the carbocation adjacent carbon atom hydrogens can only calculate it. Now the carbocation adjacent carbon atom hydrogens can only calculate it. 3 plus 3, here it is not the carbocation adjacent carbon CH, here it is the direct carbocation adjacent direct carbocation C carbon C. Okay, that's why it is not calculated. Now here 3 plus 3, 6 alpha hydrogens are there. Now here similarly three alpha hydrogens. So here how many alpha hydrogens are there? There is no alpha carbon. That's why it is no alpha hydrogen. So zero alpha hydrogens. Zero alpha hydrogens. So according to the, our statement, more hyperconjugated structures, more stable. So it it will be modified like this. How uh, when it is a more uh, hyperconjugated structures are absorbed, more alpha hydrogens are there. So more alpha hydrogens, more stable. So this is the simple modification. Okay. Uh, like a uh, more alpha hydrogens more stable okay now here nine alpha hydrogens six alpha hydrogen three alpha hydrogens zero alpha hydrogens so among the four which is more stable absolutely tertiary is more stable than that of the like a uh, uh, normal carbocation which is uh, more stable than that of the normal carbocation so this is the like a more stable more stable that means the more number of resonating structure okay now let us discuss this some of the examples now here it is the ch3 it is the plus now sometimes like a, it is the positive so this is the like a ch2 plus so among three it is labeled as one two three which is more stable which is more stable okay now let's move on to the uh, calculation of alpha hydrogen see here two alpha two alpha three so that means two plus two plus three that is a seven alpha hydrogen now here two plus two four alpha hydrogens now here it having only one alpha hydrogen so this is the carbocation, this adjacent atom, here three sigma, three carbon-carbon bonds are there. That's why hiding fourth one, it is a hydrogen, that is the alpha hydrogen, only one alpha hydrogen. 
That's why one is greater than that of the two, two is greater than that of the three. This is the simple thing. This is the simple thing regarding to the like a carbocation stability. Okay, now let's move on to the second example that is the like a carbon free radical. Carbon free radical. So here it is the three alpha hybrid. Now let us uh, like let us take the same example instead of cation we are used uh, like a carbon free radical instead of cation carbon free radical okay so here it is the nine alpha hydrogen six alpha hydrogen three alpha hydrogen zero alpha hydrogen whatever the intermediate more number of alpha hydrogen it is the more stable so the same result so if it is the more hyperconjugated structure more stable less stable than that of the first one less stable than that of the first and second one less stable than that of the first three ones first three ones okay so this is the like a stability of uh, carbon free radicals okay now here the 2018 meat problem is there on the like uh, these type of hyper conjugated structures they are giving like uh, these three examples So they are brilliant question from the 2018 NEET. This is the like they are shown the like a, a dot symbol that is nothing but a carbon free radical. They are mentioned in the statement. It is a carbon free radical. Among these three, let us arrange the like their stability order through with the help of hyperconjugation. With the help of hyperconjugation. Now here it is the radical. So here it is the like a not only carbocations. Here alkenes are also. Possible. Now the third application is the alkene. So alkene can also participate in the like resonance form. Here three here three pi bonds are there. That means it gives the four alpha four resonating structures. It gives the four resonating structures. Now here it gives the four resonating structure. So that's why overall twelve resonating forms. Twelve plus four thirteen resonating forms are there. Okay. Now here uh, four plus four eight resonating forms. Here only four four resonating forms. Four resonating forms. Based on the resonating forms, uh, the stability of carbon free radicals are are also discussed. So this is. Is the stability order of the free hyper conjugation this is the second effect so that is the like a stability of a carbon free radical now let's move on to the stability of alkene Stability of alkene. Third one. Stability of alkene. So same point. So the more number of hyperconjugated structures, the more stable. Now let's move on to the like stability of different different alkenes. Okay. Now let's uh, let us discuss the like here it is the CH two CH three. What is the name of compound? So three carbons are there. Okay. The three carbons is nothing but a propane. So, which having the double bond, then it is called as propene. Simply, it is uh, named as one propene. Now, here it is the CH two CH two two carbons are there. That is ethylene. Okay. So, one propene ethylene among these two, which alkene is more stable? We don't know. But based on the Baker Northern effect, uh, but based on the Baker Northern suggestions, but based on the hyper conjugation method, it was uh, explained. Okay. Now here it having the like alkene, alkene having the alpha alpha carbon, alpha carbon having the alpha hydrogen. That's why here three alpha hydrogens. Now here, how many alpha hydrogen? Two plus two four alpha hydrogens. Absolutely wrong. Zero alpha hydrogens. How many hydrogens? Zero alpha hydrogens. That's why here it is the three alpha hydrogens. It is the zero alpha hydrogen. It having the more. That's why it is more stable. That's why it is more stable. Now I'll give the simple order of uh, stability of uh, alkenes. Stability order of alkenes. Different different types of alkenes. Stability order of Okay. Now here it is the CH three CH three CH three CH three. This is the a tetra substituted alkene. So here more number of hyper conjugated structures are there. That means more number of alpha hydrogens are there. Okay. Now the second stability CC. Here it is the hydrogen CH three CH three CH three. CH three, CH three, CH three. So this is the second stable stability. Why? Because here twelve hydrogens are there. Here nine hydrogens are there. Now the second most, and now third most is CH two, like a CH three, CH three. This is the third most. Now again, so here di substituted. So di substituted and the same carbon is more stable. Now again, 
dye substituted on the like a cis model like it is, it is like a trans CH3 CH3 hydrogen CH3 CH3 hydrogen now the next one like a CH3 CH3 like a cis pattern hydrogen hydrogen cis pattern now the finally a protein simple protein uh, that is nothing but simple protein CH3 hydrogen so this is the like a alkene this is the alkene now this is the simple stability order okay are you are you clear i think it is very clear now let's move on to the like a the new term that is nothing but a heat of hydrogenation heat of hydrogenation heat of hydrogenation so that means uh, uh, like uh, here it is the double bond is there so double bonds can hydro hydrogenated in the presence of some heat now so in the presence of some catalyst like palladium or platinum now it becomes a ch3 ch3 that is called as a addition of hydrogens is nothing but hydrogenation okay in this process of hydrogenation the system which which avoids some heat Okay, simply it is called as heat of uh, hydrogenation. Heat of hydrogenation. Now here it is the simple alkene. That's why it it, it releases the like more heat of ionization. Now here it is the like most stable compound. That means less reactive compound. So most stable that is a uh, less reactive compound. It uh, it is quite opposite. So most stable less heat of hydrogenation. That is the like a quite opposite words. So stability of alkene. Stability of alkene. Is inversely proportional to the like a, a simple thing is heat of hydrogenation heat of hydrogenation are simply the stability of alkene is inversely proportional to the heat of hydrogenation as well as a like a or number of alpha hydrogens number of alpha hydrogen this is the simplest form okay so this is the another term that is the fourth term heat of hydrogenation now let's move on to the reactivity of benzene sir reactivity of benzene so towards electrophilic substitution reaction reactivity of benzene so towards electrophilic substitution reaction now this is the fifth one reactivity of benzene substituents towards electrophilic substitution substitution reactions substitution reactions now here it is the benzene it is the benzene here it having the substituent CH3 now here it is the like ethyl ethyl benzene now again it having the another substituent so that is nothing but CH CH3 isopropyl group is there so the, the, by the help of these compound we can prepare the uh, phenols uh, through the like a peroxide method now here it is the tertiary butyl group tertiary butyl group so in generally so the first compound is a ch3 second compound is ethyl third compound is like isopropyl the final compound is a, like a ch3 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 this is the tertiary butyl okay now here it is the uh, uh, three half three hydrogens so one of the hydrogen bonded to two electrons will shift it like this now it creates the one type of hyper conjugated structure so double bond c double bond hydrogen hydrogen here it is the like a, a simple negative charge here it is the one of the compound which lost their electrons but it still appears like a, a like a h plus so this is the hyper conjugated structure so the benzene adjacent carbon it having the three alpha hydrogens so first one it having three alpha hydrogens now here in case of ethyl benzene it is only two alpha hydrogens now here how many alpha hydrogens are there seven alpha hydrogens whether it is correct absolutely wrong how many alpha hydrogens only one alpha hydrogen here zero alpha hydrogens okay now let's left to right left to right the number of alpha hydrogens decreases automatically stability of uh, stability of uh, these uh, uh, benzene derivatives are decreases simply it is a reactivity towards electrophilic substitution decreases reactivity towards uh, reactivity towards electrophilic substitution reactions decreases why because decreases the number of alpha hydrogen now let us assume the final thing of the this video so here it is the methyl substituent ethyl substituent isopropyl substituent tertiary butyl substituent that is a, like a substituents on the benzene 
okay now let us remember the our first uh, first effect that is nothing but inductive effect so if bulkiness increases that means the more number of carbons increases bulkiness increases plus a effect increases bulkiness increases plus a effect increases that's why left to right uh, inductive effect increases left to right inductive effect increases why because due to the bulkiness or more number of carbon atoms more number of carbon atoms are more number of donating groups more number of donating groups so this is the point okay now left to right hyper conjugate left to right inductive effect increases but left to right number of alpha hydrogens are decreases so number of alpha hydrogens are decreases then automatically hyper conjugation hyper conjugation effect is decreases so left to right hyper conjugation effect decreases due to decreases the number of alpha hydrogens number of alpha hydrogen this is the point okay now even though both are similar uh, so like a similarity effect but uh, they are varied sometimes but they are varied sometimes this is the one of the best example which like uh, which compares the like a uh, uh, inductive effect and a uh, hyper conjugation effect that's all for this video this is very helpful for helpful video for the je mains and the neat students especially je mains and neat aspirants but it is also very helpful for the basic learners of uh, csr and gate as well as jam aspirants okay i think it is very helpful for you thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.